Hi, my name is Brittany Hall with Chasing Sunsets Photo and Film. This is my first YouTube tutorial and it is going to be a mini course on how to effectively create a high quality GIF using Photoshop. The first step to any successful GIF is actually having the right gear in order to create it. So I would recommend that you need to acquire some kind of memory card that can shoot in high speed. You're going to purchase one of these cards online. We use the SanDisk Extreme Pro, 170 megabits per second, and we have a 128 gigabyte card. I think for high speed GIFs like this one, you're gonna want at least 170 megabytes to make sure that you have a camera that can create a high quality GIF in high speed. I really love to recommend the mirrorless cameras. Not only are the focus technology so much superior than a mirrored body, but it actually offers some really fast speeds for continuous shooting. So we use the R6, the R3, and the R5. My favorite GIF ever I created with the R3. Okay, so the second step is while you're actually shooting, you do need to put all of your images in a quick sequence together. On your camera, you're actually gonna set it up that your shooting style is high-speed continuous. So it's gonna be underneath what's called drive mode. So, let me click on that. Mine is high-speed continuous plus, and then you're going to just essentially shoot very still, really quickly, so come with me. Okay. And it's really important to have a movement-based pose, like kicking your feet, jumping, twirling, whatever. So our beautiful models, Robin and Ben, they're going to play out our little action for us. And when I say go, you guys, I want you to lean into that movement. So Ben, if it feels good, reach up and maybe even touch your hair. But Robin, just keep that slow movement. It looks really good. Yep, so. I like the idea of you looking at him adoringly. And then we're gonna do this in Oh, that's a good idea. Great job. Okay, so let me back up. And then on your marks, get set, go. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm gonna need like 12 minutes for this buffer, but we got it, we got it, you guys, good job. Okay, thank you. So then we get to do, no, I feel like they practice. The last step is all inside of Photoshop. You're going to go up to file, and instead of creating new, you're actually going down to scripts where you will load files into stack. It's right there. It'll ask you in a little pop-up window to find the folder of fully edited GIF images or GIF images, however you wanna say it. And I like to create a little subfolder on my desktop for those so you can start up at the top, the first one in the sequence and pretty much select all of them and press open. There is a button down there where you can automatically align source images but I thought I was pretty still so I'm gonna skip over that for now. While it loads, you then have the option to open up your timeline. So I did skip over the loading, it usually takes a little bit longer. And then down at the bottom, set create frame animation. Click the three or four little lines on top of each other and make frames out of the layers. All 103 images popped up, but I noticed that it was actually reversed, so I have to fix that because it doesn't really make sense. So I'm gonna go back to the first image, click on one, go all the way to the end, press shift and click on 103. And then I think it's a matter of pressing those four lines again in that corner. It's like a little pop out window right there. And then you can actually go up to reverse frames and that's just a quick fix if something crazy happens. I tried it a few different ways and I couldn't quite figure out why I kept reversing it, but this is how you can fix it. So then that play button down there will allow you to just watch your GIF and make sure you like the way that it looks. I wanted to adjust the timing of it so it was a little bit faster. So again, click on the first image, press shift, click on the last image, click other, and you can actually set up however long you want the frame to delay. I did this like 0.0001 because I wanted it to go a little bit faster and this is what that looks like. That looks pretty normal. It's a little slow, but I do kind of like how romantic it is. So then from there, you're gonna crop it in if you want to eliminate some of that shake that you naturally have as a human. Again, you can align the, the layers if you wanted to try that, but that just takes so long for my Photoshop to do. So I just like to crop out some of the edges and that brings us in and makes it a little bit higher of a quality. You can play it again to double check your quality, but we're really close and now I'm just, we're just gonna talk a little bit about how you're gonna save it. So when saving it as a GIF, I actually like to render it as a video. So go down to file, export, and then down at the bottom, render video. I have found that this is the highest quality GIF that you can get. So then from there, you just rename it. It saves as an MP4 file. You can pick whatever folder on your desktop you wanna save it to, give it a good name. 
and then these are the settings I chose. So the format is H.264, and then I did the highest quality possible. So here I am just kind of mapping it to the desktop. And then that's my size. If you wanted to custom size yours, I feel like that one works out really, really well for me to airdrop the final gift to my phone. And then you can use the editing inside of your phone. So I use Apple products. So I just use the editing feature inside of my camera roll on that actual video file to crop out the black border, which gives you your final GIF. And once this is done, you'll be able to see my final GIF. And I really like the way it turned out. I'm probably gonna post it online. Um, here it is, just super sweet. Thanks for watching.